Welcome! Morgan Kaufman just published our first book, Embedded System Design with Platform FPGAs. And we'd like to give you a brief introduction to it through a series of three videos. Our goal was to put together a book that covers both the principles, the engineering science stuff, and the practical information needed to use today's FPGA devices as the platform for embedded systems. And system designers today face a complex set of requirements, and the products that they develop are judged on a range of metrics. For example, nowadays the market demands that new personal electronic devices have more features in a smaller package and come internet ready. Moreover, short product life cycles have led to compressed development timelines. To innovate, designers need to be able to develop custom hardware and custom software. But to be productive, designers need to take advantage of existing software, network protocols, and hardware cores. Fortunately, there's an enormous amount of free and open software available, and a modern F platform FPGA is powerful enough to host computing systems that can run this software. But the biggest challenge is the learning curve. Not only does the embedded system developer have to understand how to assemble the hardware and develop the application specific, specific software, but they also have to know how to compile the existing support software. And often this uh, free and open software requires a full-fledged operating system, such as Linux, which adds a whole other level of complexity. And because the developer is building a custom hardware platform, where not even the processor is known in advance, the developer also has to compile their own board support package. This includes everything from cross-compilers to creating root file system images. And that's what we want to do with this book. Put together one resource that describes how to build up a base hardware platform, adding standard and custom peripherals, compile the cross-development tool chain if necessary, cross-compile Linux, write simple device drivers, talk to custom peripheral cores, add open source software, and create an image that uh, can configure and then boot on an FPGA. And this is a lot of material to cover, and we assume the reader has some basic C programming skills and has had some experience with harder description languages such as VHDL. Right, and the reader has had perhaps an introductory embedded systems course or perhaps a microcontroller interfacing course both these classes are typically found in the junior year of uh, most computing curricula. Here at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, we teach this course to master's students in their first year. Typically, we can cover this material in about one 15-week semester. So this ends the first video. Next, we'll show you the hardware we use and how the Reconfigurable Computing Systems Lab is set up. Uh, in the last video, we'll describe the structure and content of the book.